Hi, uh, Emmanuel. Uh, I hope that you are fine. Could you introduce yourself, please? Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm Manuel de Araujo, the mayor of Kelimane City in Mozambique. And Kelimane is the capital of Zambezia province and has got more than 400,000 inhabitants. But I'm also the vice president for Africa, for ICLE. ICLE is one of the biggest international org organizations for local governments, mayors, governors, and uh, other local government uh, officers. Dealing with climate change. Okay, thank you very much. Um, why do you think that it is uh, relevant and uh, interesting to work uh, uh, in network of cities? Well, working in networks is very important for cities, for example, like mine. But through networks, I learn from the mistakes and for the good examples from other cities and from other municipalities. But also through networks, I'm able of identifying good practices and bad practices. I'm able of identifying uh, institutions that could provide capacity building to my municipalities. But also through networks, I'm able of uh, sharing my own experience and the experience of my municipality and lastly we are able of identifying sources for funding because funding is important as you know in developing countries we don't have uh, much capacity to face the, ch the challenge that we do face like my country only this year we had four cyclones so we don't have the capacity to deal with the challenge that we face so through networking we share experiences, we share resources, but also we identify bad examples, bad practices, but also good examples and good practices. Okay, thank you very much, Manuel. Uh, could you tell us uh, one or more initiatives uh, launched in Grenoble that you that inspire you, that yeah. could be re uh, re replicated? Uh, actually, yes, in there are two experiences that uh, I learned one is the experience on the energy sector where a local agency for energy was set up and the way it was set up the way it work and the way it's working and impacting on the day-to-day -day of the citizen of Grenoble inspired a lot the other one is on the area of mobility I think that you have a great example in terms of mobility and actually we Kelimane, we are trying to emulate your example and learn from how you came together with this beautiful strategy on mobility in Grenoble. Actually, there is another third, which is the popular or citizens' participation. The way you bring in the voices of uh, different uh, groups of the society, to me, is an inspiring model. So no wonder Grenoble is today the Green European City 2022. Yes, exactly. Thank you very much. And we are also interesting about uh, founding a good practice and um, um, that are, are developed in other cities. So what uh, initiatives or politics uh, in uh, Kelimann do you think could be replicated or an inspiration for Grenoble as well? I mean, one will be the way we are protecting uh, our city from, for example, from erosion. You know, we have a very interesting project where we bring in the communities, the youth, the women, the, you know, the other vulnerable groups, and we teach them how to deal with climate change challenges, such as cyclones and so on. But also within that project, we incorporated a mangrove plantation, a kind of reforestation. So it's one project that links different aspects of climate change. Actually, it brings inclusion, it brings education, it brings pub public policy and fighting uh, erosion and other climate change exam. I think that one could be replicated. The other one is one of the, our flagship example, which is the cycling project. When I won the elections first time, 2012, biking was something that was seen as a second class citizen's way of transport so people didn't like to bike but i took biking as the center of our policy and i did it by doing it myself so like i bike to my office and i bike 
to home unless when it's raining heavily then I need to use other means of transport but but leading by example is something that showed me and showed us that uh, it helps changing the way you think perceive one thing or the other so I think that if you are mayor could bike I think more people will, will be biking I think uh, I, biking which is great so that's great that he bikes then it will encourage and inspire more people to bike yes. so that's very important example I think that uh, could be followed. Follow. Okay he's already biking and actually all the um, municipal team around the councillor such as uh, me uh, we are, are all biking, biking. there right. is no more lead, cars. Leading by example by is, example. is, 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 is yes. something that we need, need to do that. Yes and on resiliency sure that uh, in Kelimane uh, in Mozambique uh, you are very um, strategic and uh, taking into account uh, this uh, fact oh. and we are really working in Grenoble on resiliency and I'm sure that we could uh, learn a lot uh, from your city Definitely. on that. Yes. That's, that's, I will agree with you because we've been working on, 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 on resilience for the, 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 the last 10 years and so we have experiences that uh, we would like to share and to, in, to inspire other cities be them in developing countries or in the de developed world but our big dream is that we want to move from bicycles to bicycles because the western society moved from bicycles into cars cars which pollute and now they are moving back to bicycles we would like to avoid this carization yes the mistakes that were made in the west so we we still have time but but we need knowledge capacity building and the financial resources to be able of making this tr transition from bicycle to bicycle without having the need to go into cars. Okay, thank you very much. It was really a really pleasure. Thank, thank you. you.